Good morning. Thanks for joining uh, Max and uh, me on our Saturday morning walk through Holyrood Park um, in uh, Edinburgh. That's Arthur's seat. You can just see over my shoulder there. Off you go. As well as the iconic Arthur's seat that you can see over my shoulder there, uh, an extinct volcano, um, Hollywood Park has another um, wonder in it, and that is uh, the magnificent Salisbury Crags that you can just see over here, a high, long cliff edge um, with a, uh, what could only really be described as a plateau at the top. And I suppose it's not too much of a cheesy segue to say that that brings us on to the subject of the webinar that we held just on Wednesday night on tibial plateau fractures. And we're standing from the perspective, just sort of underneath the top of the plateau that we were discussing as being the main route of attack in elevating and fixing uh, displaced tibial plateau fractures in the elderly. And this gives us a fantastic view almost under the bowels of the aircraft carrier, as I was describing the other night. But if we look just slightly over to the uh, edge of Salisbury Crags, we can see some of the rest of the skyline of uh, Edinburgh there. And just at the downsweep of the crags, you can see a, a stone tower, um, which is on Carlton Hill, which is where we're going to go next to get a better perspective on things. Our route to Carlton Hill takes us over the top of Salisbury Crags. And from here, we get a slightly different perspective on things. Having seen them in a sort of coronal view from down below, we now get to see them in a sort of sagittal view from the side. And now we get to uh, perceive that in fact, there's quite a significant depression. As we look, uh, the plateau dips significantly uh, from left to right, down into a very significant depression down there in the Glen of Hollywood Park. And that's the Firth of Forth and Fife over in the background. And we'll keep on uh, on our route to Carlton Hill to see if we can get yet another perspective on this. We've made our way down to the bottom of the crags now, and here's a timely reminder of the potential pitfalls of getting involved in difficult fractures like this. We need to be prepared, we need to be well trained, and we need to have a good plan. I've just made my way down uh, off the uh, Salisbury Crags, and there's a sort of impromptu Cayley happening just outside the palace here and uh, I found the Labrador who caused all that problem in the first place. Just uh, enjoying a little slow dance there with his owner. There we go, that's the culprit. So Max has found a friend. The Labrador is still eyeing up his next victim. And the uh, Paley just outside the palace keeps going. So uh, here we are finally in the peace of Carlton Hill um, and if I turn around uh, slowly um, we can just now get an overall view of Arthur's Seat and Salisbury Crags. There they are and from this viewpoint we get a much better overall picture of the situation. Um, we said that she was an uh, elderly woman and indeed she is a venerable old lady. She's 340 million years old and at that point uh, lava at uh, 1000 degrees centigrade came firing out uh, through that volcano and at the same time lava was punched out sideways underground to form a sill and then just 300 million years ago the uh, earth's core and uh, plates started to shift and this plate here was forced up through an angle of 30 degrees to form that cliff uh, that we can see there in the background, our tibial plateau. So let's just come back to the uh, main item of our talk. We talked about making a window um, in the underside and the bowels of the aircraft carrier and using that to allow us to introduce a punch to elevate the articular surface. And really what we're trying to do here is firstly to understand the history and morphology of the fracture. We're then aiming to achieve our core um, targets, which is to re-establish um, coronal stability. We want to re-establish articular alignment. We want to do all this with sufficient stability that uh, we can allow early movement. And in this age group, maybe not 340 million years, but in our elderly population, we want to allow them immediate early weight bearing. And we want to do all of that um, with the minimum of risk, remembering what should be tattooed on our hearts, premium non mockery, first do no harm. 
So that's the end of this uh, talk. Thank you very much for joining me um, on this November uh, morning in Edinburgh. Um, I hope you'll at uh, some point come back and visit us in August when we have our um, festival and symposium. And just finally, I'd like to thank um, Pete and all his team for uh, inviting me to give this talk and for all the huge amount of work um, that they put in to make Ortho Hub function as this fantastic free educational resource. So thank you very much and I uh, hope to meet you soon. Bye bye.